Hello and welcome back to our Learn JavaScript course on Code Academy. This is Kelvin Weather, deep in his mountainside meteorology lab. The math scientist Kelvin has mastered weather prediction. Recently, Kelvin began publishing his weather forecast on his website. However, there's a problem. All of his forecasts describe the temperature in Kelvin. With our knowledge of JavaScript, let's convert Kelvin to Celsius, then to Fahrenheit. For example, 283K converts to 10C, which converts to 50F, and they're all the same temperature. If you get stuck during this project or would like to see an experienced developer work through it, click Get Unstuck to see a project walkthrough video. Tasks. There's 12 tasks. Mark the tasks as completed by checking them off. 1. The forecast today is 293 Kelvin. To start, create a variable named Kelvin, set it equal to 293. The value saved to Kelvin will stay constant. Choose the variable type with this in mind. So we'll do const Kelvin is assigned 293. And we're using const because it is a constant, as it told us in the instructions. Then up here, for number two, it says write a comment above that explains the line of code. And that would just be using forward slash forward slash. And we could say Kelvin is a constant variable set at 293. And then we can mark this one off. Go to number three. It says Celsius is similar to Kelvin. The only difference is that Celsius is 273 degrees less than Kelvin. Let's convert Kelvin to Celsius by subtracting 273 from the Kelvin variable. Store it, the result in another variable named Celsius. So it's not telling us whether to use let or const. So we could just do const for now and change it if anything doesn't work later on. Const is Celsius. And that will be Kelvin minus 273. And that is because it says uh, we can get Celsius by subtracting 273 from Kelvin. And that's what we do there. So Celsius should hold the right amount. Then we write a comment above. Again, similar to here, we would do Celsius is a constant that is the result of subtracting 273 from Kelvin. We could go click that and then click this because we wrote our comment. Use this equation to calculate Fahrenheit, then store the answer in a variable named Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit to sine Celsius times 9 divided by 5 plus 32. In the next step, we will round the number saved to Fahrenheit. Choose the variable type that allows you to change its value. So we're going to be using let there. So we'll do um, let Fahrenheit be assigned Celsius times 9 divided by 5 plus 32. Okay, and then that checks that off. And then 6 writing a comment so comment fahrenheit is stored in reassignable variable and is a result of celsius multiplied multiplied by sum of 9 divided by 5 plus 32 Okay, and then we do 7. When you convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit, you often get a decimal number. Use the dot floor method from the built-in math object to round down the Fahrenheit temperature. Save the result to the Fahrenheit variable. Here, we would go here, and we would do Fahrenheit is assigned math.floor, and this would take in Fahrenheit. Right, and then, so that should take Fahrenheit and floor it, round it down. So write a comment explains this line. We would do takes Fahrenheit variable and rounds it down. We could 
Now go to the next one, use console log and string interpolation to log the temperature in Fahrenheit to the console as follows. So we can save this string here, copy it, use string interpolation to replace temperature with the value saved to Fahrenheit. So let's go here. We're going to do our console.log. Inside of there, we're doing the back ticks, and then we're going to paste the string, and then we're going to change here. And we're going to put in string interpolation, template literal here, and that's going to be Fahrenheit. Okay, so we're in your program to see your results. If you want to check your work, open the hint. So let's see, run this. The temperature is 68 degrees Fahrenheit. If we want to check, let's open that. Uh oh, is this hint? It says 68 degrees Fahrenheit. We did get that. So by using variables, your program should work for any Kelvin temperature. Just change the value of Kelvin and run the program again. Write zero Kelvin. So let's change this to zero. Okay. Um, let's run that. It says negative 460. So we do get negative 460 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so great work. Kelvin can now publish this forecast in Celsius and Fahrenheit. If you like extra practice, try this. Convert Celsius to Newton. Scale using the equation below. So I guess that would kind of be the same. We would go here and we would let Newton be assigned Celsius times 33 divided by 100. I'm going to just do calculate Newton and then after this we're going to take Newton and assign to it math.floor Newton. We would add our note saying basically the same which was takes Newton variable and rounds it down and then we would do the same thing uh, use console.log so we could go under here and run another console let me give us some room there console.log back ticks the temperature is template literal put Newton degrees Newton and let's run it negative 91 let's see the hint so I don't see the answer here but we didn't get an error so that should be right if you guys want to comment down below if you think that I got it wrong if not I'll see you in the next lesson